Good morning children welcome to science class so in science we are learning the 17th block which is kinds of wind isn't it and in this we have learned about the different kinds of winds how does the wind is formed that also we have learned and also we have learned about the land breeze and sea breeze isn't it children so in the fourth topic we are going to learn about monsoon winds okay so monsoon winds are the winds which bring rain to it to us okay so how does this happen so this happen during from the summers okay so during the summer the air above the land becomes hot faster when compared to the air above the sea isn't it so when the air becomes hotter it rises up isn't it children it rises up and the cool and the breeze from the sea tries to the air above the sea tries to take its place it rushes towards the land isn't it children so the air above the sea has lots of water vapor in it yes because of the water it gets water vapor in it the water in the sea gets evaporated and becomes water vapor isn't it children and with that water vapor it moves towards the land and when it's moving towards the land land it starts raining okay so in this way the air from the sea has lots of water vapor and when it reaches towards the land it brings rainfall to us okay children can you see the monsoon wind direction in your content book also you can see the direction of the monsoon winds so in that way they reach the our country with the rain okay so this is our topic children for today i have given few keywords in your daily schedule please learn them and write it in your class work and also underline in your content book while reading the topic monsoon winds okay so coming to your question answers what are monsoon winds how are they formed so monsoon winds are the winds formed due to the unequal heating of land and sea okay so in summer lands get hot faster than the sea isn't it so the air above the ri land rises up and the cool air from the sea rushes to take its place this happens throughout the summer months and these winds carry a lot of moisture in with them which results in rain okay so write this answer in your class work and please learn it children coming to your next question do monsoon wind bring rain only to the coastal areas why why not no so it brings all over all parts of our country can you see in the picture children not only in the coastal region in may in the middle also you can see in the picture isn't it it's blowing the waves rushing towards the land you can say that it it causing rain for many parts of our country isn't it so it moves from coastal areas to the himalayas and cause rainfall from coastal areas to himalayas that means the northern part also will get the rainfall okay so write these two answers in your class work and please learn it children coming to your homework complete the volume book volume book 3 page number 8 s4 monsoon winds okay so with this we have completed with our block children so in the next class i'll meet you with the new block children see you in the next class bye